guys, good morning again. I put two coats on the inside of the toilet seat last night and it's not nice and dry. So now it's time to start the gridding process. I think I need to make a small apology. I keep having to make these. I sounded a bit frustrated <clears throat> yesterday with Amazon because a couple of my things are not working properly. But it's not Amazon's fault. They are awesome. They will fix it. They will, I can return it, I'll get another or whatever. And I'm sorry, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. So, I love you Amazon. Prime, forever, you're awesome. Okay, now, I do need to get a new microphone. So the sound is not gonna be as great. I apologize for that too. Um, but we're working on this toilet seat for Kimmy Schwimmy and she wants it to be like the finisher guitar which I just finished doing this is one previously that was purchased by Justin James who's in the band he's the husband of Janet Gardner and I, I don't know the name of their band I have to learn that too okay anyway he's pretty cute isn't he I guess I can say that I'm 76 years old I can even say he's hot right okay anyway so this toilet seat is gonna be like the guitar I hope Anthony's okay with that <laughs> I'm gonna have to make another apology all right we have sort of a rectangle here I'm gonna call it a rectangle and I'm gonna measure from one side to the other and once again I have 12 inches and I try to explain this every time to have an even the squares where it starts and begins with the same color in other words I always like to start on a white I like to start with black and end with black so for that to happen you need to have an odd number of squares so I have to take my trusty calculator and put in 12 divided by 11 because I want 11 squares and it's a little over an inch <clears throat> and I learned on my last project that it's an inch and an eighth. So I will mark all the way across and I think at this point I'm going to switch to my close-up camera to show you that. I will go across every one and eight inches. And what I found that last time is best if I go start from either side and work in so that it will be <clears throat> really, the center stripe will be really centered because sometimes my measurements are just a twidge off. Imagine that. I hear workers outside <laughs> working somewhere. There's always extraneous noise when I'm trying to do these projects. I need to get up. I'm going to have to start getting up and filming at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning when no one's air conditioners are running and there's no workmen out in the yard. So we're going to see here how this works out. It's honestly not working out totally perfect, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's eleven. It's gonna be okay. So I have those dots marked, and then I will go. Um, and I need my longer <laughs> ruler, so let me get it. I, I like one that will go all the way across. The truth is, I need one in between. <laughs> one which looks like a sword to fight with um, okay I will put it on here and I've got the this is a toilet seat and it's got little things on the back it's not that easy to work with Kimmy this is all your fault so I'm trying to line this up so that the stripes will be even
Is that showing up on that camera? On my close-up camera? I guess I'll find out. And I'll continue to do this all the way across the guitar. I need to make a little, a little darker where they show up. I'm going to have to go back over this and make this darker. So once I finish the stripes across, which I will do when I pause my camera, uh, I now need to mark um, for my crosswise stripes, which, let's see, <laughs> they'll be going, and here we have 15 inches, which is awesome because that's an odd number, and it would also be the same amount of inches, so I just mark all the way up. An inch and an eighth. Okay. I think this part is a bit boring, so I'm going to pause and get all of my, my markers made. Draw all my lines where we'll have the squares. And then we'll go from there.